this is, we're going to go over um, this worksheet right here, Algebra 2 Word Problems that go with 13H. Um, I just ran out of time and we didn't have time to do number three. Um, so let's do that one together real quick. So it says, Jehoshaphat had built a fence to keep his varmints safe. It was rectangular, but he also added additional fencing to divide it into three sections. Some of the varmints were disagreeable and he had to keep them separated. He used 200 feet of fencing, so I wrote myself this little note so I didn't forget down here, and the entire fenced-in area was 2,000 square feet. Anytime, just a warning, anytime you see something that's square feet or square yard, anytime, this is telling me this is the area. Find all possible dimensions for the outer fenced area. Don't worry about each pin. That could vary depending on where he placed them. So I just randomly placed them. I mean, they're definitely not evenly spaced but assume they are all parallel, perpendicular to one another, forming nice rectangular pins. So I did that. Okay, so let's see, given this information, if we can figure out all possible dimensions. All right, so what I did is we all know that this is my length of a rectangle. So I labeled that L for my length. This would be my width right here. But notice I have these other sections that are also the same length. So if I would measure each of these, notice I have two L's, two links, but I have one, two, three, four widths. And when I add all that together, I only have 280 feet of fencing. Okay, so that would be my first equation right there. Now if I want to know my total area, which is I want to know this total area of my whole fenced in, remember we find area of a rectangle, length times width. So my length times my width is 2,000, all right? Now I have two equations with two unknowns and we can either use, um, I think the best way to use this would be the substitution method. So we wanna get one of these variables by itself. It doesn't ever matter which variable you get by itself, but my goal is to do it without getting fractions, okay? So you can see here, if I tried to get the L by itself, I would have to divide both sides by W, which you could do, but I have a fraction. Okay, either way. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get this L by itself because I can see eventually I'm gonna be dividing everything by two and I can see all these are divisible by two. So that's the route I'm gonna choose. So over here, I would have two L. I'm gonna move the four W to the other side. So it'd be 280 minus four W. I think I just ran off my paper. If I divide everything by two, because I wanna get the L by itself, I've got L equals, what is that? 140 minus 2w. Okay, that's what L equals. So I'm going to take what L equals, this is algebra 1 right here, I'm going to substitute it into the other equation where I see an L. Okay, remember we did what's called the elimination or the addition method and we would do the substitution method as well in algebra 1. Okay, so I've got 140 minus 2w, I'm substituting that in for the L, times w and you know I'll write it back here but honestly I'd probably write it up here it doesn't matter remember you can multiply in any order you want equals 2000 okay if I distribute the w in because I'm multiplying I have 140w minus 2w squared because w times w is w squared equals 2000 this is actually a lot like number one because I have something squared I want to make sure I set it equal to zero, you know, so I can factor or use the quadratic formula if it comes to that. Since this guy is negative, I'm going to move him over here so he'll be positive. So I have 2w squared. I'm going to move him over. Since he's positive, he would be negative. I'm going to leave him where he's at so he stays positive. And that equals zero. So I took both of these terms, moved them to the other side, which changed their sign. So now I've got this. Okay, so I can factor, but what I notice is everything here is divisible by two. So once again, I'm gonna divide everything by two, just, just to make my numbers smaller. You don't have to do this to factor, it just makes it easier to work with. So that would be 70w plus 1,000. Much easier to work with, okay? Remember, if you divide one thing by two, you have to divide everything by two. All right, so it's still zero. Zero divided by two is zero, so everything's good. All right. I like this because this is a one. It makes it really easy to factor. Love that. So I'm looking for factors of 1,000 that add up to 70. And I think that would be 50 and 20. Um, did 
I miss it? That's a negative, isn't it? And I wrote through it and I couldn't see it. So that's a negative, sorry. Because I'm like, oh no. So both of these are gonna be negative. And that's so messy, let me rewrite it. W minus 50, W minus 20. That's what I get for working in pen. Goodness gracious. Okay, you can see if I multiply these two together, negative 50 times negative 20, I get a positive 1,000. But if I add these two together, I get negative 70. So what I get is my width could either be 50 or my width could be 20, okay? We have to define the dimensions for both. Remember your area was 2,000. Length times width, let me write that right here. Remember that was 2,000, so this would be the easiest one. So if my width is 50, that means my length times my width is 50, just divide both sides by 50, did I get a little crazy there? And you will find your length. So if I divide both sides by 50, whoops, I would get my length to be, what, 40? Okay, five times four is 20, so I can see this one. This one, my length would be, again, take 200, gosh, I'm so tired of it. Take, take your 2,000, divide it by 20 to find your length, and you would get 100. So either one of these dimensions would work, okay? You might think this one's a little weird because your width is longer than your length. Um, it doesn't really matter. We usually let length represent our longest area, but it, it still works. Everything works, the math works, it all makes sense. So both of these are possible dimensions for my pen. And there you go.